Welcome back everybody. In today's video, we are going to be upgrading the Asus Strix G614 gaming notebook. But before we get started, I want to thank Empowered PC for letting us borrow this unit so I can actually show you how to do it. More about them at the end of the video. So before we get started, make sure that you turn off your computer completely. So let's go to start, let's go to shut down. For this, we're actually going to be using our trusty iFixit kit. In this case, we are going to be using the PH1 bit. We need to take off all 11 screws on the back of the laptop. And as usual with the Asus ROG laptops, there's gonna be one screw in the corner that doesn't fully come out. Just make sure that you loosen that up all the way until you hear a click. This is actually done, so then it can be easily accessible in the corner. Now that we have everything taken out and the corner one loose, we're gonna take our prying tool and work our way around the laptop. Now that we've gotten the front and the sides loose, as you can see, I kind of wiggle it. What I'm gonna do is actually kind of pry it just a little bit, wiggle back and forth, and it should completely come out from the backside. All right, now that it's open, let's go ahead and take a look around to see where everything is. Your primary NVMe slide is going to be right here where it says SSD Gen 5. Your secondary slide is actually gonna be on the left side of here. You can peel this back. It's going to say SSD 2. As your RAM, it's going to be right in the middle under this here. Both RAM sticks are right there. We'll show you how to take those out in just a second. But before we do anything at all here, we're going to be unplugging the battery. That way there is no current going through and you don't kill your motherboard. For this particular model, it seems that there is a fan in the way of our battery connector. So we're gonna have to take this fan off first. For this, we're gonna go back to our PH0. And you're gonna be taking off this screw and this screw. Now that those two screws are off, we should be able to kind of slightly pry it up and fold it over. Now here is the connector for your battery. So this connector actually has a latch that you have to push away from the connector. We take a pry tool, plastic, nothing metal. Make sure that you gently push away and it should open just like that. And then once you have this open, take your pry tool again, get under your connector slightly, get on one of these little corners and help it push upward. Do one side, then do the other side, very gently, upward. So there you go, it's, it's unplugged. Now we can go ahead and do what we need to do within the computer. To take off your NVMe, it's quite simple. Take your PH0 bit again, and you should be able to take off this screw on the right. Leave it a little bit angled, and then pull outward away from the connector, away from the slot. Should come right out. As you can see, there's like a little gummy thermal pad here. That's actually to dissipate heat away from your NVMe. So if you install another NVMe, make sure that you transfer that over to your other NVMe so it keeps dissipating the heat. As for your RAM, your RAM is right under this flap right here. To take this out, take two fingers on the side latches here and pull away from each other. Your RAM immediately pops up. You can pull your RAM out easily. Do not force anything. Same thing with the bottom one, take two fingers, pull outward on the latches, it should pop out and just pull it out. Now, once you have your new RAM and your new NVMe, just do everything in reverse. We take our RAM, we're gonna go to the bottom slot, make sure that it is on the proper way, make sure that the latch and the notch match up. Just in case, I'll show you when it, I'll show you how it looks like when it doesn't match up. You see how it's not entirely centered there? Okay, so let's turn it back around. We push it in at an angle. It should slot in without any force. Once it's fully slotted in, take both fingers, push down, you hear that click, that's good. Take the other RAM stick, do the exact same thing at an angle. Two fingers, push it down, that's good. We're done there. 
you've got your other NVMe. We're just gonna act like this is another NVMe. We're gonna take this thermal pad, put it on the other one, as long as it's a flat sided NVMe, just like this one. We're gonna slot it in at an angle, just like so. Take one finger, push it down, make sure that this matches the screw hole. Now you can take your screw and put it right back where it used to belong. If you are going to add a secondary NVMe, remember the, the second slot is going to be over here. That could be a data drive, that could be a second NVMe for another operating system, whatever you want to do with it, it is going to be on this side. Same thing that you did on the right side, you're going to take off this screw first before you put in your NVMe. Now that that is good to go, we're going to plug our battery back in, very carefully line it up. There should be two little notches here. Let me see. Let me use a plastic tool. I don't use any metal tools around power. You see this little white part and this little white part? Make sure it matches that little hole and that little hole. Line it up. Once it's lined up, push down with your thumb. Make sure it is good and flush. And this latch should easily close back up. There you go. Now we put our fan back on very carefully because you do have power going through it. So don't put anything metal out here that you might be able to drop. And now we're going to take our screws again, put them right back where they came from. Do not mix any of these screws up. Okay, good to go. Now we just got to put the back back on. Let's go ahead and change back to the pH one bit. To put the back back on, you're simply going to line it back up right at the top here. And then do the back first, just the same way that you took it off. The same way that you took it off, that is the same order that you are going to be putting it back on. So the back goes in first, very easily. We're gonna do one of the sides here. That's good. We're gonna do the other side. Good, and now we're gonna make sure that the front is fine. And then I, what I like to do with the front, because there are clips here, is actually I like to push down on it so then the clip can go ahead and grab around the lip. All right, we're gonna put it back down. And the first thing that you are going to do is tighten that corner screw. That way it doesn't interfere with the other screws. We tighten that up, good. And now we're gonna get our screws back and we're gonna put them in the, the exact same location that we took them off of, because sometimes these screws are actually longer on one side than they are on the front. I'm gonna take a back screw here. This is gonna go all the way in the back corner, and I'm gonna take a front screw. As you can see, they are different lengths. So if you put this back screw in the front, it will cause damage to your palm, to your palm rest. So let's start out with the back. One thing to know about these laptops are that once you upgrade them, make sure that before you go ahead and turn it on, we are going to plug in the power supply to them because sometimes, as you can see here, they don't do anything. Once you have it plugged in, you see the little light and it should be good to go. One thing to note, since this is an ROG Strix laptop, after you change the RAM, it might take a little bit to boot up for the first time, but as long as you did everything correctly and your parts are fine, it should boot right back up. I wanna thank Empowered PC for letting me borrow this laptop so I can actually show you the process. If you wanna check out some of their products, I'll leave a link down in the description below, as well as a link directly to this laptop, but go check them out. They have anything from notebooks for school, gaming PCs, powerful workstations, and of course, gaming laptops. And if you do end up purchasing something, make sure that you use code RESYMBIO to get 3% off your next order. Until next time, thank you for watching. Take care of yourself and others. See you on the next video. Now it's time to go play some video games. <laughs>